Purnima means uh, a full moon day. Every full moon day that happens, twelve or thirteen full moons that come in a year, each one of them have a different quality about them. Most people today living in cities, they don't know which face of the moon it is right now, they've completely forgotten. Today is a new moon day, don't look up, the tone, there's no moon today. <laughs> because today is a new moon day or a, in America they call it no moon day, very literal. <coughs> which face of the moon it is? Most people do not know today because blazing lights, noises and this and that, nobody pays attention either to the sky or to their own body. If you pay… if you look up into the sky, for sure you can know. Or if you close your eyes and look at your system, you can know what face of the moon it is because with every face of the moon, the human system accordingly behaves mildly differently. This much you know that on a full moon day, and a new moon day, if you were a sailor, you would for sure know what's happening around you because the very oceans are rising on this day. It's a huge body of water, it's rising. If you look at this planet as a body, this water body that we call as ocean, is covering over seventy percent of the land or the area. Similarly, if you look at this body, even here over seventy percent is water. Not by accident, that's the design <laughs> So if the very oceans are rising, you think the water in your body is not rising? The water in the ocean is laden with salt. Salt does not mean just the salt that we use, variety of things which we experience as salt. But the waters here have a more complex mixture. This is a more complex soup than the oceanic soup. Whether you made a great soup out of yourself or a lousy soup, that depends. But still it's a very complex soup. There just salt water rises. Out of this, ships will go, many things are launched, various things happening. The life changes in the ocean quite dramatically on this day and on the full moon day. The same is happening here. But not being sailors, sailor means somebody who wants to go somewhere, you know. Sailor means somebody who's always longing to go to a new place. So if you are a spiritual seeker, you're like a sailor, always want to go to a new place. Not because this place is bad, but we want to go to a new place within us. We understand, we are mature enough to know, if I move from this place to another place geographically, it's not really going to change my life. So we understood, we have to go to a new place within ourselves. So in a certain way you're a sailor. If you're a sailor, the full moon day and the new moon day are very significant for you. You're waiting for that to happen. That's the day you would like to launch your new ship. <laughs> so, Pardnami means it is a day when you can launch things within you. So there is a whole system of yoga which is calibrated for the lunar cycles and the solar cycles so that one can make use of this system. 
one can make use of nature's help. As I said, among these twelve, thirteen, twelve to thirteen full moons that happen, they are of different quality. So accordingly they have been identified. I think in, uh, in China there's some significance, no, probably in Japan, probably. August moon, you have some significance to August moon? Hmm? Yes. There is. Uh, whatever the significance, I do not know, but uh, essentially, the full moon that comes immediately after the summer solstice and the winter solstice are of a certain significance. This time, <coughs> Guru Purnima is the second full moon, not the first one, because of some astronomical calculations, it's been moved to the second full moon. Otherwise, it's always the first full moon after the solstice. The first full moon after the winter solstice is called Dhanya Pavnami, which is considered a day of fulfillment. And uh, in Tamil Nadu, it is celebrated as uh, Thaipusam. No, it comes little after that, okay. It's called Dhanya Pavnami and it is celebrated in different ways, but essentially it means the day of fulfillment. So this Guru Purnima, this Purnima or this full moon after the summer solstice, historically and also in terms of celestial arrangement of things, it's significant because Adiyogi chose to become a Adi Guru, the first yogi decided to become the first guru over fifteen thousand years ago on this day, which is called as Guru Purnima. It is the birth of the first guru. And this is the day he delivered or he started transmitting the most significant message to humanity which was never before, that is, he, he made them realize that if you're willing to strive, all the limitations that nature has set upon you, you can cross. You can evolve beyond your present limitations, if only you're willing to strive and do the needed things within you. Till then, and even today largely most people believe that this is the way I'm made, this is either God's will or my father's mistake, that this is the way I am, I can't do anything about it. On this day, Adiyogi, introduced this possibility to humanity and said, if you are willing to strive, I will give you a science through which you can go beyond all limitations that are considered human limitations. Even today, when people use the word human, most of the time, when people use the word human, they are not talking about the immensity of being human, the power of being human, the possibility of being human. They're talking about the limitations of being human. When somebody says, oh, I'm only human, they're talking about how I'm limited. Very rarely somebody is referring to, I'm human as a great possibility. Because Still most of the people believe that either because of God's will or my parents' mistake, I'm like this and this is all I can do. If you experience a rebirth, if you make a rebirth possible for yourself, 
naturally your most important work will be to ensure that the entire world knows that if they are willing to strive, they can cross all the limitations created by themselves, created by their genetics, created even imposed by the nature, even those limitations you can cross. The limitations of life and death one can cross if one is willing to strive for it. So on this day, which is called as the Guru Purnima, this message was delivered. So it's very, very significant because this made human life into a possibility, a limitless possibility rather than being some kind of a trap of being one more kind of creature on the planet. So we must celebrate this. <laughs>